So we're continuing with the installation of the Philip Jeffries studs and stripes. Not easy when you have to change the angle of your hand. Can you zoom in? <clears throat> Do everything you can not to lift the blade on a double cut. Do everything you can because if you mess up that last minute, that, well, that last half inch, it's a lot of work to make it look right. So this is our old piece that I'm taking off, right? And of course now I'm joining the two, the, the two pieces on the new seam that I just made. And we're gonna go nice and easy. It's, it's very little damp, the cloth. With a clean palm. This is Philip Jeffrey's Studs and Stripes. Let me just tell you something that I think is a good thing to do. When you have shading going on, when you join two pieces of grass cloth, sometimes with dark grass cloth, not with the light stuff, I would take a damp cloth. If there's too much shading, you can permanently alter the grass cloth with a little moisture. It's like an artist, you, you're kind of dispersing they mismatch. You, you all know that grass cloth, the seams are visible. It's just a consequence of having the beauty of a natural product on your wall. And I'm sure other installers do this. When, when you see that one is a little darker, you can make the other one a little darker if you just take, this isn't wet enough, a little water, and, but you gotta be good with it. And you can, you can minimize the effects of Shading. Just an idea for you. So there you have it, folks. I mean, show them the whole thing. This is a 20 foot, 21 foot high installation of Philip Jeffries. And so far so good. But it is back working a little bit. And there you have it. If you like the video, click on like. I'll see you on the next one.